like everything. I love I'm everything sure. in this story. I love it. I love it. Shortly after I'm done here at the 507. Okay? Love you, Colombia. Get you an autograph. You got it. You want one? You want one? What's been new with you since the last time you've been here? Um, gosh, so many different things. Um, we released uh, two American songs. Uh, they did really well. Um, and we were doing new videos. Uh, Calamina.com, and we do a website grand opening of the new site. It's New Year's. I got married. Congratulations! Uh, you know, thank you. Thank you. It's very, it's very fun. So tell me how this collaboration came about with the local company and with 507 Clothing. Well, I am a fan. They have fabulous clothes and um, I'm thinking of going shopping because I wrote sweaters and it's not hot out. Uh, I mean, I'm cold out. Uh, and you know, we were singing and um, they came out to us and we loved what they had. And um, whenever I feel somebody has a really nice positive vibe, I'm always down. Explain your fashion sense. Gosh, my fashion sense is very different. Uh, on stage, I love glamour. I want shimmer. I want, I don't know, I want the last person in the back to be able to see my outfit. If I go like this, I want them to see a sparkle. But off stage, I am very casual. I'm wearing jeans, t-shirt. I like accessories, bag shoes, but everything else, jeans, I'll just change t-shirts and keep it simple. And you've obviously cool. been all over the world. How do your fans differ from place to place, or do you find a commonality with them? Gosh, I, how do they differ? Um, no, they're pretty much, it's usually the same kind of love, and um, I've never had, they usually will like, do the same kind, of, I don't want to say do the same kind of thing, but what's different is, um, God, what is different? I guess they're all the same. Maybe some are a little bit more hyper than others, which, is, you know, it's just different, but they're always very, uh, exciting and they always are so nice and warm and I feel like I know them. Are you ever shocked at the amount of people that show up to your concert or even show up to autograph signs? Oh my gosh. I am always so humble and I'm so thankful because I just feel like I have the best fans in the world because they honestly, they know where I am always. They're always on my Twitters, always on my Facebooks. Um, you know, if I do a concert, they upload it at night when the show's over. I just feel like this tremendous love and all I could do is just be so grateful and give back and try to work harder and give them better music each album and single. 
Anything you want to say to your Toronto fans? Ah, oh, Toronto. I love you, Toronto. <laughs> and you know it. So I just can't wait for tonight. Thank you so, very much. Thank you. I don't know. Can you guys tell me what was going on here today? You had a special event. Yes, we did um, Calomira, uh, she's an international uh, pop star uh, from Greece and uh, New York. Uh, decided to come in and uh, do like an autograph session with us. And how did that collaboration come about? Well, uh, it was a local company across the street. We were pretty good friends and we do some uh, events together. So we help each other out. As we should in the Greek yeah. community. Explain to me the style sense of 507 because you guys are very unique. Um, yeah, uh, I guess uh, basically what we look for is uh, young and up and coming uh, designer brands and labels. And uh, some international labels and we like to present uh, a good quality product to the uh, average consumer and um, people who shop with us love it. And you know the in really incredible thing about 507 is not only are you guys stylish, it's very affordable for everybody. Now if anybody wanted to know where 507 on the Danforth was, where are you located? We're at 496 Danforth Avenue, um, close to Logan and Danforth.